Hey, what is going on guys? RVZ Stealth here, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the mid lane tier list for patch 7.5. So there have been quite a few pretty significant changes to mid laners over the past few patches here. So this list is pretty interesting, and it is quite a bit different from the last one that I made. So with that being said, guys, let's get started. So first up here in the tier 1 is the only champion staying in the tier 1 from last patch or the last time I did a mid tier list and it's Talon. So Talon, he hasn't received any nerfs recently. Lethality did receive a little bit of a nerf, but he's still a great pick due to the lethality. It still is very strong on Talon and he still is one of the best roaming mid lane champions. I feel like whenever there's a Talon in the game, he always finds a way to get a snowball going in the early game. His roaming potential is just way too good with Moby Boots and the fact that he can jump over walls. So if he does see, for example, like the bot lane low on HP, he can just jump over the wall, use his ultimate, burst them down, and it's just so hard to play against that because either you're going to have to just back off from your bot lane tower and react right away when he leaves lane, or you're just going to straight up die to the Talon. Talon's one shot potential is one of the best for any assassins in the game too, just because it's fairly easy to pull off. It's a lot easier to one shot someone as Talon than it is to one shot someone as Zed, at least in my opinion. And then control wards do no longer reveal Talon in his ultimate, which just makes it that much easier for the Talon to assassinate his priority target in teamfights. Now as for when and when you should not pick Talon in this patch, he's a great pick against a lot of these low range mages in the mid lane. I would try to avoid champions like Kale or Anivia, Annie or Zillion though. Those are champions that he does tend to struggle with against just because if he does jump in for example on an Annie or an Anivia, it's very easy for them to stun him and just burst him down right away. Whereas these other champions that don't have as much like instant lockdown, for example someone like an Akali or a LeBlanc, if you jump on them, they're not going to be able to CC you right away and therefore it is going to be pretty easy for you to burst them down and get out of there. So next up in the tier 1 is going to be Ziggs, and in this patch, in my opinion, Ziggs is probably the best control mage that you can play right now. He's just got a super strong kit for solo queue because he's one of the only mid lane champions that can do a really good job at controlling games and just stalling a game out to the point where even if your team does feed in the early game, because of Ziggs great wave clear and because of his reliable wave clear, it just allows him to clear waves super easily, the enemies are going to have a very hard time sieging towers against Ziggs. So for example, if you got someone like a Vayne in the bot lane, or you do have a scaling champion, even if they do feed in the early game, you still will have a pretty good chance to win that game as long as you can stall it out with Ziggs. He's also one of the best teamfight mid lane champions. All of his abilities do AoE damage, which just allows him to pump out a load of damage in teamfights. And he's also great against the longer ranged AD carries that just want to try to sit in the back line and not get too close because with Ziggs' ultimate, you can just throw that on them if they're, for example, if Jin's using his ultimate or Misfortune's using her ultimate, then you can just use your W or your ultimate on them and just get a lot of damage off in team fights. And one of the best parts of Zig's kit is that he's an insanely good tower melter. So if the enemy does go for a roam in the early game, then a lot of the time with Zig's, I would not recommend following them unless you do like know 100% that you're going to be able to pick up a kill when you roam. I would just sit mid as Zig's work on that tower because if you can get the first blood tower gold, you're just going to get a really good snowball going and you're just going to be able to open up the map because once that mid lane tower drops, it just allows allows you to roam either top lane or bot lane, and it does allow you to have a greater influence on the game. Now as for when and when you should not pick Ziggs, he does struggle a little bit against champions like Talon or Echo or even Ari because those champions have great mobility so it is harder for Ziggs to land his skill shots on them like in the laning phase and in team fight. so the general rule of thumb with Ziggs is that if the enemy team does have a load of mobility on their team then unless you're super confident on him then I would probably choose a different mid lane pick but if they are fairly immobile and they don't have like say they have a mage in the mid lane and they have like a Jin as 80 carry then that's a great time to pick Ziggs. 
So next up here in the tier one is going to be one of those good picks against Ziggs and also a great pick against a lot of these meta mids right now and it's Ari. So Ari has actually started to see some play in the competitive scene recently and I think the main reasons for it is because she's actually a really good counter against a lot of these like skill shot oriented mages. She also is one of the only mids who hasn't really been touched in a very long time. A lot of these other mid laners have been receiving nerfs these past few patches and therefore with Ari being a good pick against those champions and those champions receiving nerfs it does make her a much stronger pick now. So Ari for solo queue though I think the main reasons to why she's a great pick is because she's just a very reliant mid lane mage champion. She's got three dashes with her ultimate. Her charm is super game changing. I think there is obviously a very big difference between an average Ari player and a very good Ari player but all you really have to do with her to be successful is land that one good charm on the mid laner or the AD carry in a team fight and that could end up single-handedly winning you the game. For when and when you should not pick Ari, she really doesn't have too many counters in the laning phase. She's a great pick against these skill shot oriented mids though, like I said earlier. So I would definitely look to pick her if the enemy team does lock someone like a Cassiopeia or an Orianna is a really good pick or a really good matchup for Ari, just because the Orianna is really never going to be able to land her ultimate on the Ari. And for Cassiopeia, if Cassio wants to get in range of you in team fights, she's going to be in range of that charm and if you hit the charm on Cassiopeia then she's gonna get blown up right away. So overall Ari is a very safe and reliant mid lane pick in this patch. And to round out the tier 1s here is going to be Anivia. Now this one might be a little bit biased because I've been spamming Anivia in solo queue recently, but she does actually have the highest win rate for any mid in this patch right now, and I think that she is one of the best control mages for solo queue. So she's a very similar pick to Ziggs. I think that Ziggs might be a little bit stronger than Anivia, but Anivia is one of the best champions at stalling out games and just allowing her team to scale up and get to that late game and Nivia's ability to fight in the jungle as well is just absolutely insane and I find myself basically being able to just single-handedly carry games if you if you do fight in the jungle with a Nivia. Her wall can basically single-handedly win you games. I've had many times to where I've just been able to catch the opponent out. They really don't know the wall range on a Nivia and therefore they just walk forward a little bit too much. You wall them off and they're just separated from their team. So if they don't have flash up, then it's pretty funny because they just stand there and there's really nothing they can do. They're just going to end up dying because your team's going to be able to burst them down pretty quickly. And then as for when and when you should not pick Anivia, I would look to pick her against a lot of these shorter range champions in the mid lane. So for example, Rai, she's a really good pick against. She's also a great pick against like Cassiopeia, Zed, or Talon. A few champions I would try to avoid though would be like Ari, Ziggs, or Zareth. Any champion that can outrange you can do great against you. And then Ari can also do really good against you just because her ultimate basically makes her immune to all of your abilities and it's going to be very hard for you to wall her off or stun her in team fights. And then I'm going to do a tier 1.5 for this patch for mid lane because I think there's a lot of mid lane picks right now that are very strong and the tier 1.5 champions here are champions that do have the potential to be tier 1. It just does depend on how much time you've put into them because if you're just picking up one of these champions, they're really not going to be that strong. But if you have put a lot of time into them, they're great carry mid lane champs. So these are going to be Fizz, Katarina, Echo, Syndra, and Jace. So I want to talk about Fizz here in depth because he did get a really nice buff this patch to his Q, which is really seeming to help him out. So I think the main reason to why Fizz is great in this patch is because he's actually a really good pick against a lot of the meta mids. So he's a great pick against someone like a Katarina or an Orianna or an Anivia. Even Ziggs he does really well against right now. So with the buff to his Q, they increase the AP ratio on it by quite a bit. And because his Q damage, you're gonna you're not going to miss your Q unless the enemy does flash out of it. So it's guaranteed damage a lot of the time. And therefore with this buff, it actually does allow him to do quite a bit more damage with his full combo now. So I would definitely look to pick Ziggs in this patch against these like a mobile mid lane mages or against these champions like Katarina or even Akali. He can do really well against in this patch. 
And then for the tier two champions in this patch, these are the champions that are viable for sure, but they are definitely still quite a bit weaker like than the tier one champions. I would recommend playing one of the tier one champions if you can play them really well over the tier two champions. But nevertheless, I'm just gonna put them all up on screen here because there's a lot of these tier two champions in this patch. I'm not really gonna talk about them or go into detail about them because I wanna touch more on the tier three champions here and explain why these champions are in the tier three and not in the tier two or the tier one. So for these tier three champions in this patch, they're gonna be LeBlanc, Yasuo, Ryze, Vladimir, Vegar, Lissandra, Corky, and Azir. So I wanna talk about LeBlanc and Corky more in depth here because both of these champions in previous patches were like tier one and they're dropping all the way down to tier three now in this patch. So for LeBlanc, she got some really big nerfs in this patch to the damage on her W. The damage on her W basically got halved and it's seen her drop to like a 42% win rate in this patch so far. No, I think that those stats really don't indicate, or they're not the best indication as to how strong she is right now, but an 8% drop in win rate is generally a pretty good indication that a champion did get hit pretty hard with a nerf. So for LeBlanc, I would really only look to play her in this patch if you are very experienced on her and you really know what you're doing on the champion. And then as for Corky, he was tier one in my last video and he's tier three now. The changes that he got to his ultimate actually hurt him a lot more than I thought. So he did get a damage nerf to his ultimate and it no longer allows Corky to clear waves as effectively as he could before. So pre-nerf Corky, he could Q alt the back line and one shot them at level seven. He can no longer do that anymore. And it just makes, it just feels so awkward playing Corky now. His his wave clear is just pretty crappy. Unless he does have the force shot up from his rockets, then he's really not going to be able to wave clear very effectively at all. And I just feel like he doesn't really do a great job against a lot of these meta mid lane picks either. Ari is doing super well against Corky right now in this patch, and I just don't think he's really worth playing unless you're super good on the champion. I had like a 65% win rate on, Car on Corky, and I just kind of stopped playing him because I just don't feel like he's as strong as he was before. Four. So that is going to be all for this video guys. I'm pretty sure I included most of the mid lane champions in this video here. If I did miss a champion though that you do play in the mid lane, then just comment down below and I will get back to you on that as to what tier they would be in for this patch. But with that being said guys, thanks for watching, have an awesome day, and I will see you in my next video.